it's gonna look pretty good. It's a gear. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Alls 3 Garage channel. Dave and I are back out of the truck. Got a late start at it unfortunately, but we are working on the inside, inside this time. We got a lot of the exterior parts taken off, getting it ready for paint, getting ready for that sleeper to come off, but we got to pull the back wall off now and the seats out because we've got some pretty cool parts that just arrived today. Yeah. Um, you may see one of them sitting right there. And then I gotta go grab the rest of the stuff out of the truck. But uh, we'll show you guys. Let's go ahead and get those seats pulled out and uh, get to going to get that back wall out. So let's go. Alright guys, so this is the interior panel from Daycab Company. That's pretty nice. It's got the pockets down there to put stuff into. Um, and the uh, that big half circle there is for that center console piece. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, yeah. And we do have the one out of the silver truck that we could throw in Somewhere in that big mess over there. Yeah. But man, I mean, even look at this. It's got like the factory structural components on it. Can't forget the glass in the back, and that's included as part of the kit. All of the huck, you could either do huck rivets or you could do the traditional um, pop rivets. Well, since we got the huck gun, we decided to go with the huck rivets, but Dave's gonna try to mock this up, I think, see what it looks like in there. Well, yeah. Eventually. Let's get everything out. Good. So now we got everything a box we figured this is the perfect way to show you guys what comes in one of these kits um, obviously the lovely foam does not we just have them sitting on there so it doesn't scuff anything but you get the full interior panel with all the pockets I'm thinking right here Dave we'll have to do something cool like A3G or have it printed on or yeah. get a big vinyl put on you get the aluminum back panel that comes with all the bracing and the structure on the back end. So it's a, it's a factory setup panel. Then most importantly, you get your air ride system. A lot of old school trucks do not, they're not on air. So this kit allows you to put the cab on air once you pull off the sleeper. Now in doing that, you gotta remember, you gotta pull off those support mounts if you have an older truck that connect the cab to the radiator. So you gotta turn those bars from the radiator down to the frame like the modern trucks are. Um, but this is an awesome kit. Todd, Anthony, we are so happy to work with you guys again and put one of your products in our trucks. You guys nailed it out of the park with the upholstery. Can't wait to put that in. And you know, we can't say enough about this product. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask us or just call Dave Cab Direct. Also, another thing in the kit too was the glass, which you guys saw. Um, that's all included, even with the rubber boot to put it in. So it's gonna look like the truck came as a day cab, you know, hence the name day cab company uh, from the factory, even though it had a big 63 inch sleeper on it. So bye bye to the sleeper and hello to the new day cab kit with some air ride, of course.
All right, guys, so it's the exciting part. We're gonna take the bunk off today here. Um, you can see it's just sitting on four by fours all the way across, sitting on the frame rail. Peterbilt's a little different than Kenworth. It's got those channels that actually sit up in the sleeper itself. Yeah, so we put it on these just so uh, the skid steer force can get under it a little bit easier. But we did take out, we just unbolted the uh, the hard mount. Yeah, we just threw the frame there because uh, we didn't feel like dealing with the uh, all the other bolts. The so, bushing mounts yeah, the on bushing, it. I'm, I'm blanking here on names, but and we, we actually had to cut these bolts and then pound them out. But it's sitting up ready but You to can go. see, I mean, this is bad the whole way and then it's got a big hole over here. So yeah. we definitely got a rust issue. Yeah, but I'm gonna take the scrap off here. And we're waiting for Mike to come over with the skid steer to pick it on up. We also have to do, or had to do, you have to remove the boot on the inside of the truck. Don't forget to do that. And then also I'll walk around your lines for your coolant and your heater core. Make sure you disconnect those too. We actually just took a bolt cutter and they crimped off the edges. So it actually came out nice. Didn't have to worry about anything. Um, but you can see that one's pretty shot too. So here's kind of how we did it. Get a big four by four, run it across. So it's sitting on either side of this channel. And then we're gonna put some, what are those? Two by sixes or two by eight boards right here. So that way it's underneath his fork when he tilts and picks it up, it's gonna put leverage across the whole channel itself. And then we're just gonna have him pick it up a little bit. Um, we'll drive the truck out and he'll be holding it and then we'll strap the sleeper around basically the whole way with a ratchet strap to his head of the forks and then we'll just bring it inside. So yep. that's our way of doing it. If you guys got a better way, let us know because we're always open to try new things. <clears throat> yeah. But Let's get, get it, it off. Forks, they're not the big ones. Alright, why don't you get records? I'll go to this side. can't drive it out. Where are you going to drive it?
So we just finished up. Obviously the sleeper is sitting in there. And uh, we just got bare frame rails here. So it actually looks a lot like what our flat top does sitting in the garage, which is kind of scary because that's a massive project. This, thankfully, we still have the whole interior and everything in it. Uh, granted, we got to go through everything, but uh, the sleeper's off. Frame looks good. That was our main concern is, you know, basically it's got some flaking, but nothing bad at all. We'll be able to salvage it to about probably right into this range is where they'll do their cut. So thank God that, you know, this is the only bad part. This looks good. We're going to go ahead and probably then drop off the boxes, drop off the tanks, clean it completely up to about right here, and then not have to worry about the back half because that's getting redone. So the back of this looks really nice. Uh, no dings, no dents or anything. Obviously, we're going to have to grind out all these rivets around the ring because we've got that new panel that's going to go on here. And we got the window that's going in too. But it kind of looks funny right now. Yeah. It, looks, it looks weird. And, and we've got some big, big pipes that are going to go on this truck, some big uh, Roadworks pipes. But I'm really happy with it. I don't know about you. Yeah. Uh, it went really smooth. This, since we've done the bunks a few times now, it was almost like boom, boom, boom. Mike was here with the Bobcat. We put in our two boards uh, across the main sub supports for the sleeper and just kind of lifted it right up. Yeah, well, it's nice outside because we have a lot more room out here. Um, when we took the flat tops off, it was kind of inside. inside and it was pretty tight, tight in there. Quarters. So. So we think these are fun pulling off. I can't wait till we pull off that Kenworth sleeper. That one's a big one, and that one's really top heavy. So that should make for an interesting one. But for this truck, I think we're probably gonna cut the video right here. This was the main thing, getting everything stripped off and getting this sleeper off because we've got some really cool parts that we're about to put on from the day cab company. Put this bunk on air ride, bend those radiator supports, not cab on air ride. Get the cab on air ride. Yeah, I'm losing my mind. It's been a long day already. And get this frame painted up and get this truck primed in so that way we can spray it. Let us know what you guys think about maybe doing some drop panels or uh, what are your thoughts on those or the big fenders. Um, you know, we really want to incorporate a lot of what you guys like to see and what you want to see on this truck. And let us know too, something we thought about is when it goes to the frame shop, possibly getting it short so it looks a little bit more proportional or should we just leave it the exact length it is let us know but guys we appreciate you watching the videos glad to be back on youtube showing you guys all the progress that we're making on these trucks and then like always if you guys have any comments questions leave them down below we always read through them and uh, i guess we'll catch you on the next one so until then remember keep them wheels rolling and we'll see you soon hey dave
guys don't want to miss what we got planned for the next video, so stay tuned.